Timing is everything. Wow. That's right. It is time for another. Can you smell it, guys? Mm, what a nice simmer. That's right. We're not a roasting channel. We're a simmering channel. Yeah. We feel like we've covered quite a lot already. You guys get the gist. But then it came across this Chinese TV show. This one was just something else again. Take the caps. Ready to go. By the way, this drama is called My Last Visa or 最后的签证 Based on the true story apparently yes. The plot is about the heroic deeds of a Chinese diplomat who issued out visas for thousands of Jews during World War II I'm totally not reading off a synopsis website right uh, now yeah, I mean. <laughs> Obviously it's depicting something quite important and historical We're just here to talk about the violin playing Yes Alright, so Being the insurance <laughs> See what I saw? Great violin solos of four fine tuners. Here we go again. When was the last time you saw a world-class soloist, even a university student soloist, play with a violin with four fine tuners? It doesn't happen. Oh my head. Just no. Let me just get this through my head. <laughs> no. Usually a solo doesn't use two hands. They can do it with one hand. That's saying something, though. Yeah. But hey, maybe the actors didn't want to drop the violin. Yeah. So I can and I, I get the suspicion they have real musicians. Yeah, the ones in the back, right? You know why? Because the dude, he has a towel over his chin rest. He looks very comfortable with it. Dude, mate, just get a seat. No one does this. Usually they don't let people in, there's yeah. a shut off time. Yeah. Maybe times were different back in World War II era. But Sarah Sider is a good wise and it's the piece they're playing, for those of you who don't know. Very famous violin piece, let's see how she plays it. Holy moly. Dude, oh, we're gonna be here for a very long time. It right. clearly started on the G string. Yeah, not just that look. It's crooked, her uh, hand is too flat, it's just on the A string. She kind of started on the third position, All but right. then she went down when she'd been going up the pitch. Oh no, why did you go down? She shifted just down. Keep the left hand there, just look. One, two, three. Oh. <coughs> why are we expecting more? Oh, we should know by now. So, I mean, I, I get it that she's not a musician, but that's still painfully <laughs> fun to watch. <laughs> Why are they doing a zoomed in shot? If they're gonna zoom in like that, get they might as well get a double. You don't draw attention and to like an obviously fake thing, you yeah, know? Yeah, and then draw attention to that run. It's the hardest it's run, too, right? Yeah. She's doing like one, two, one, two, two, three, but like she's staying in position. <laughs> By the time we stop just then, it's already up here, yeah. but she's still stuck down here. Second and a half Scared position. Get a double, guys. It makes it so much more enjoyable. Yeah. Or we'll just don't zoom into yeah. it. Or just, we'll just don't. <laughs> oh, wow. Good if you could actually do that, you're better than every other violinist out there to make that sound. The sound was wow, like a man. whole bow, but what she used was like... Just a little part of the bow. One inch. What you heard was like a huge bow. What you see, you was like... <laughs> We won't say anything, you can just spot the difference. Versus. Dude, why is this? What is this? Hey, uh, Brett, let's play your Tchaikovsky. How they got so many people just sit there and watch? Well, that's a lot of actor wages to yeah. pay. Yeah. And they couldn't get a double. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she bowed for the pitch. That's pizzicato, guys. But she use a. Her bow's just sliding all over the place. Usual yeah. stuff that I talk about, but it doesn't get less sacrilegious, you know? The bow changes out of time. She's on the fingerboard. She should be on the first position. Yeah. And G string, she's on the A string on third position. Her bow's so tense. We're a simmering channel. She really likes like on a third, fourth position on the G, G string, string right? The bow's going back and forth, and she likes this movement. I don't think she's done a single, like, 
long bow. And I feel sorry for the musicians. I feel sorry for every single person hired there to endure her. We're simmering. Smells the recording kind of weird too. Yeah. It doesn't sound like a solo doing. concerto piece. And you can't the, even hear the solo violin. Yeah, there's no solo violin sound, and the first sound kind of all over the place. Yeah. Dude, the applause started happening before they started applauding. Clapping, yeah. <laughs> Look, listen. And no one's clapping. It sounds like someone bootlegged a recording, so they went into like their local orchestra concert and just recorded, recorded the audio. In that concert, they started clapping before the end, yeah. which don't do, please. And they just put it in there. Oh! Damn, where's that bridge? Where's the budget? You can afford all those actors in the audience. Oh! Different violin as well. Dude, what happened to your other violin? Did she drop it? Bro, didn't the actress herself be like, something seems different about today's uh, violin? It's like, where's just the attention to detail? We can't even demonstrate this to you because I cannot take my bridge off. Put your pinky on the bottom. Yeah, I know. Basics, guys. And look at the gap between her left hand finger and the thing. There's a massive gap here. Should be like that, not. Just get a doppel. Her pinky is all the way up there. If your pinky is all the way up here, look at all the time it's required to hit the string. That is inefficient AF. You want to keep your fingers ready to go. Boom. Boom. Bye, yeah. On, off, on, off. <laughs> that does not happen. That does not happen. That oh, never happens. Okay, we're not directors, oh. but... Dude, most... 9 out of 10 musicians, if they didn't know someone was about to approach them and you did that to them, they would literally jump. You don't know how much focus and, like, care is required to play. So, whoa. I love how there's always, like, this whole idea of violin and romance. Yeah. Putting that together, guys. I get it, but... Oh, my God. Just... <laughs> Is the volume change again? No, it's the same one. It's a different color. Why is there no bridge? At least that was right. That was the right sound to pick it from the tin. That was the actual sound. I'm just trying to picture in which world would this scenario ever unfold as it just did. When you don't have a bridge. Oh! Oh wow! Okay, not only is there no bridge, but now it's lathered in. Is that rosin or is that this light? It's just dirty. There's like white it's powder dirty. everywhere. Gloves on. Oh, dude. She's got Gosh. gloves! Why would, you, why would you? The thickness of your fingers change with the glove. The feeling is all off. And it's just the spacing is all wrong. Just listen to this. Okay. You can't vibrate with a glove. Yeah. It'll just slide. I know. The only closest glove you can get if the glove has like holes so your fingers can stick out. I remember there's a clip of the violins of Engrove playing. Out yeah. With the but he had gloves, but the fingertips are still there. Yeah. I've just never seen such a bad portrayal. That's not even Stop. a violin at this point. Did she stop playing? Play? Dude, there's over a billion people in China and we know a lot of people that can play really, really well. Ask someone to be on set or find someone that had like great two violin training. I'm pretty sure everyone oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, it's missing a bridge, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, well. Maybe if you didn't wear gloves, you had a bridge. Maybe if you can actually play. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know we're being nitpicky, but as a musician, when we watch things like this, these are the thoughts that come into our head. We can't take it seriously. Yeah. If it was a little bit off, but at least it was like kind of close, then we can respect the effort. But yeah. this is just clearly like. They didn't even yeah. try. They even get a proper violin. Dude, like, <laughs> come on. <laughs>
Uh. That's like, I'm gonna make a feature length movie about Roger Federer, the great tennis player. And then you show up with a tennis racket with no strings on it. It's like <laughs> yeah. an empty and racket. It, and then the ball goes through. Yeah. You just cut the shot. Got the gloves again. Yeah, don't blow it. What happened to our first violin? Budget cost. Oh, we heard we can remove that bridge and people won't know it's there. It saves a few dollars. <laughs> bridge! Bridge! What? What? The mysterious return of the bridge? Oh, it's gone again. Why? I actually don't understand. You know why? It's a magic trick. They're magicians, look at them. No, I actually do not understand why this is even an issue. Is it a different violin? It looks like the same. It looks like the same violin. Oh, dude, I'm so confused. The rosin is gone, nothing is there anymore. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> I mean, I guess the violin kind of deserved it. Yeah, that wasn't even a violin. That wasn't even a violin, but wow, okay. Dude, the sound that it made when it, it dropped. real, right? That does not sound like a violin drop. It does go, but that. It sounds like the sound design team just went like. Bro, a violin is a hollow chamber. You hear a twang as well. Yeah. Bang. Can you hear the strings? <sighs> FYI, some luthiers do this knocking just to check if there's any cracks. God. We don't really need to explain more, but holy crap. Dude, she's got a bridge at least. She'd be in a lower half of the bow playing that type of bow stroke. Double stops on the E and A strings, not on the D string. Bow's crooked. I give up. She's staying in one spotlight, just going. Music's like hardcore octaves. And his hand wasn't even octaves, just yeah. staying in the same position. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. Oh no. Alright guys, I think... <laughs> you know, I love, I really love this scene because as you can see the shadow back there, it's kind of representative of a protractor with all the angles. And it's ironic because she went past the 180 degree level and went down here. Your bow does not go. That's the angle. Unless you bend your back like that, which is not good for your That's spine. not a good posture. Oh, that vibrato. Uh, I think I'm over this. Yeah, I'm done. I'm Guys, done. oh my god. We hope you learned something here. <sighs> Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Appreciate the roast. We'll see you guys next time.